Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and today we're checking out Regroover Pro and more specifically, we're gonna be checking out the expansion kit section inside of the plugin. I've already gone ahead and split up a drum track. I've got my snare, my kick, and my hats. The really cool thing about Rugover Pro is this expansion kit where I can actually make my own drum kit. It's got a few controls behind the scenes after I've selected some drums to go ahead and edit those. And then I can even use my 16 pad drum trigger to play that out. Or I can use some MIDI clips to make some drum loops. Whichever way I feel most comfortable, I can do it that way. And not only can I take the snare and kick here and put them in the expansion kit over here, but I can then drag in a second, third, and fourth drum kit into Regoover Pro, it will do my analyzation, split the different elements, and then I can take those and put them in expansion kit as well. Anything that I drop inside of the expansion kit will stay in the memory. So I'm not gonna lose that information. So I can mix and match different elements from different drum clips inside of the expansion kit. So let's go ahead and check it out. So the way to do this is to double click and then highlight whatever you want to take. And if you see here, I've got the little hand symbol. Right now, if I just move this up and down, channel, I can select different parts. But if I take it and move it towards the bottom, you'll see that it kind of changes into an audio looking spectrum. If I click and drag now, I can drag and drop it over here. So I'm going to drag and drop that onto C5. Boom. So now that snare drum is on the C5. And if I play the C5 on my keyboard or trigger the C5 inside of a MIDI clip, that snare will be triggered by it. So let's do the same thing for this kick over here. And you'll notice that I'm being kind of crude with my selection. I'm going to show you why in a second, but I'm going to do the same thing. Click, drag and drop. And let's come over here. And again, click, drag and drop. And maybe if I want this snare roll, click, drag and drop. And the reason why I was being kind of crude is because there's an editor page. You see right now I'm on layers. If I come into editor, You'll see that I've got a bigger selection here of my actual drum pads, but if I click right here, I can now see better the sample. So I can really kind of come in and lop off everything. And this is gonna be important for if I'm exporting later and I don't want any extra memory being taken up or space being taken up by this, you know, there's essentially nothing here. Um, and it's also very important if I'm going to be doing a drum performance, not to have a long sample where there shouldn't be one. So there's a few other controls here. We have envelope control. So here I'm pressing the C5 on my keyboard. So we have envelope control, we've got a volume control. Uh, we also have effects built in. We've got an EQ and a compressor, which we can turn on and then use if we want to. All right. And then we can jump over to the snare and do the same thing. Okay, so now I have my pads laid out here. And as I was saying before, now I can come in and drag another drum loop into Regrover Pro. And it's gonna give me a little warning here saying, hey, the layers tab is gonna be updated. So if you need this saved, make sure to export your stems or save the project or do whatever you gotta do. I'm just gonna click okay. But I want you to notice something. Now it's split that drum loop up for me, but I've still got my drums from the last one inside of the expansion kit. So now I can do the same process here. All right, so let's listen and make sure everything's all right. No, we need to have the BPM again. So now I have my new layers of my new drum loop split up into different stems. So now I can come in and clean up this audio again. Let's go ahead and listen here. So this particular rim shot has some of the kick transient. So the way to do that again, make sure you're on the edit tool. Double click those parts and make sure the other layers are locked to force it into the kick layer, hit split. 
Boom. And of course, we've already gone over that in the last video, so I'm not going to go through it again here. But now I can come in here and select this kick. And again, come down towards the bottom. And maybe this rim shot. Come down towards the bottom. And so on and so forth. And I can actually make a 16 pad expansion kit out of various elements of various drum loops so easily. And I have so much control inside of Regrover Pro. And then of course I can come in and make a drum performance or I can go in and make a MIDI performance inside of here as well. So if I come in here, add some MIDI, let's shut this down. Remember it starts at C5, so come up here towards the top. So we started at C5 and now we're gonna go down to G sharp four if I wanna come in here to double up on that kick. So I gotta go to G sharp four. And you get the idea here. So that's it. That's how to use the expansion kit. And remember, as I mentioned in the previous video, if you wanna export those pads, you just click export. Make a new folder here, hit okay. Boom, it's exported. If I come into my desktop here, I essentially have made a drum kit for myself with elements of drum loops by splitting them up inside of Regover Pro and just hitting one button. So anyway, I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. Links in the video description as always if you want to check out more about Regover Pro. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.